guys, welcome back to the channel. Oh my gosh, this is the uh, third time I have attempted to uh, start this video. And uh, hopefully this one is, is going to be the take because um, uh, I live in Central Texas in the Austin area and we are getting absolutely pounded with uh, torrential rain uh, for the past probably days, really. We had a small break, but whew, it is really coming down again and I hope that um, you don't hear it too bad in the background been waiting for the right moment and it has calmed down a little bit in the past 15 minutes so I thought I would try to do this video again. So welcome back to the um, top 10 artists you should know. Uh, this is a special edition, I guess you want to call it that, um, of uh, uh, exclusively Scandinavian artists. So we've got artists from Sweden, Denmark, and Norway to talk about today and believe it or not I actually have a pretty large collection of that and I had to kind of pick and choose some of the my favorites. Now, by no means am I um, talking about the best uh, Scandinavian artists or the most well-known or the most popular or any of those things. It's just 10 artists that I think that the rest of you should get to know. And it kind of fits the theme of the other um, artists you should know videos that I've done. Some maybe a little bit more well-established than others. And then some that will probably be mostly completely unknown to the majority of you. Uh, no means are these complete collections, I don't have everything. Uh, I noticed I got a nasty comment on one of my videos last week about my, or a couple weeks ago about my Beach House collection. I never claim to have everything from every artist when I do my collections videos, by the way. So I just show what I have, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy them. So, um, you know, for that person who didn't uh, understand that, I apologize, and I hope that I have never said that I have every single item from every artist that I've ever shown on this channel. So, hey, it's social media, you know, people just tend to leave uh, the most ridiculous things on comments, but anyway, that's cleared up, and um, he did send me an apology, so I think we're good to go there, but um, thank you for tuning in, always means a lot to me, and I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, this is edition number four of Artists You Should Know. I try to pick ten. I think I've got a list of about twelve here today. I probably won't get to them all. One of them doesn't have anything physically, uh, but I did want to mention, and I guess it's a good place to start. I'll just mention with an artist that I really, really like from Denmark called Far Away From Fiji. Everything that they have ever put out has always been on digital. Uh, you can go to iTunes and, and download their most recent album very active on SoundCloud and I don't think they have a Bandcamp page but SoundCloud or YouTube of course um, and then they do have uh, at least one album I know of on iTunes that I downloaded their most recent LP Far Away From Fiji if you follow me on Facebook you know I've been talking about Far Away From, for, from Fiji for about mm, two years two and a half years something like that and they're really really just a very mellow cool sound indie pop um, wonderful vocals, they make wonderful videos, and um, I will put a link in uh, my comments in the description box of something from them because I think that they need a little bit of recognition. They don't have a ton of Facebook followers. They are kind of a small, definitely independent, doing their own thing kind of, kind of a band, um, but I really, really like them, and I would like to encourage more of you to go check out Far Away From Fiji. Unfortunately, if they had anything physically, I would certainly own it, but they do not, so I don't have anything to show you. Another artist you've heard me talking a lot about on this channel is a Scandinavian artist from Sweden, and that is the wonderful Robin. Um, certainly, probably someone who was definitely on the end of the more established uh, end of what I'm going to show today. But it was a great opportunity for me to talk about her again and to show her most recent um, work, and that is this new album that just came out. I just got the vinyl version of it yesterday. I've had the CD version of it now for about mm, a month, month and a half, and it's called Love is Free, and it's a collaboration between Robin and, boy, I don't even know if I'm going to try to attempt to uh, pronounce the uh, collaborator on this one. Uh, you can read it for yourself and make up your own mind of, of what uh, they're going by. Uh, I just don't want to butcher it, but um, Robin is an outstanding um, uh, independent artist on Konnichiwa Records who has a long history in Sweden. She was a child star, really, on uh, kind of a popular um, 
uh, talent competition show and she's gone on to do major label stuff and then she broke away from major labels and has been doing her own thing. She had a wonderful three EP LP set come out about four years ago. She does work with Ricegop, uh, who I'll talk about here in a little bit. And she tours solo and she tours with them. And now I think that she did a very short tour with this outfit. And this is a three LP set and it's just done so wonderfully that I had to show it off. And it was a good opportunity for me to show off this latest it is black vinyl, but it's super heavyweight, super heavy duty vinyl. And um, it's three LPs packaged in this wonderful, glorious, super glossy, super heavyweight, uh, heavy card, heavy vinyl. Inner sleeves are magnificent. It is really difficult to get this out, so I think I'll just leave it at that. But Love is Free is available now for downloading. It's available on CD, and this is a limited edition vinyl run. And there probably is still copies of that still available. So I love Robin. She's been she was my number two, I think number two or number three um, artist collections way back. You know, probably January, February of uh, this year when I first started making videos. I showed all my Robin stuff, and I still really, really like her. So um, I'm hoping she does a complete solo album soon. We've been kind of promised that for a long time. <laughs> Uh, but she's really been active. Uh, she did that uh, album last year with Rice Cop. Uh, the name escapes me at the minute. I've shown that before on my channel. So go back and watch that Robin video because that's an artist you definitely want to get to know. Especially if you like dance pop music. And I know that's not for everyone, but I enjoy it from time to time. And she's very, very good at it. Um, the next artist I will talk about in my special Scandinavian edition is an artist from, I've got notes here, so you'll have to excuse me because obviously I don't memorize where all these artists are from, uh, from Stockholm, Sweden, and that is an artist named Anne Brunn. This is her most recent album called When I'm Free, and um, this is really, really good. This just came out this past year, and I've got quite a lot from her. I'm not going to show all my stuff from all these different artists. Some of it, I only have one thing. Others I have lots and lots, and I don't want this video to drag on forever. But Anne Braun, I really did want to show at least my all the vinyl that I've got because I really, really like her. She is um, kind of a jazzy, uh, slower pop, uh, kind of like a Diana Krall, but she has much more upbeat songs, and she does amazing stuff. And I know there's some fans in the VC of... Anne Braun. I hope I'm saying her name right. I'm going to say that about every artist here today. I hope I say their name right because, honestly, I don't know for, for a fact how to pronounce a lot of these names. Um, but I know I like the music. I can promise you that. Um, here's another album from her. This one is called It All Starts With One. Another really good record. This one came out in 2011, double LP. These are hard to come by. I, I've bought the majority of this stuff overseas, either from Amazon UK, or other uh, various uh, independent record stores across the pond uh, because her stuff isn't that well stocked in America, I must say. There's a few things on the U.S. Amazon, but to go walk into a record store and find her albums, probably not going to happen unless you're in a really, really good record store. Um, here's another album that came out in 2008 called Changing of the Season. Now this is a limited edition here on, um, I forget the color of this one. I think it's either clear or white, but let's just take a quick look. I just played this the other day and I really liked it again. And yeah, it's on the frosty clear vinyl. This is a limited edition pressing on that one. All the other stuff I have from her is on black vinyl, but I can at least show you that. Uh, this is a great album. And while the album cover doesn't really depict her great style, um, she does have fantastic style, uh, and I think that most anyone who likes a little bit uh, slower pop or bluesy, jazzy kind of music, Diana Krall, Melody Gardot, uh, things of that nature, I think you really dig this artist, so get to know Anne Brunn. I'll probably have something playing in the background as long as YouTube doesn't tell me to take it off. Here's one called The Temporary Dive. This one came out, if my eyes will let me read it, 2005. And this one I haven't opened and played yet because I haven't had it that long. I've only had it about a week. And I'm just still catching up with her back catalog and um, getting to know her more and more. 
Here's another one called Spending Time with Morgan. I think this one was 2003. This may have been her first album. And this is really good too. So um, this one you might be able to find a little bit more easily and less expensive. So it'd be a great place to start. Her CDs are reasonably priced. Of course, most CDs are. Um, so you could certainly buy a CD, um, but I'm a vinyl lover, I'm a collector, and I like to buy vinyl when I can, and I'll go to the extreme sometimes to do it. And then finally, we've got an album called uh, Rarities. And this one's really cool because it has cover songs on it, um, including a Beatles cover, if I'm not mistaken. Um, blah, blah, blah. Let me look here real quick. I know there was one on here. Oh uh, boy. Uh, from Me to You, and it's really, really good. Um, and she does a Bjork cover, Yoga, J-O-G-A, um, and that's a live cover. And, and this is mostly covers, I think, and some original songs, uh, but it's a two LP set as well. And this one is, has become quickly one of my favorite albums of hers. Um, that she called it Rarities because I think, you know, it's not mainly studio stuff. Um, it's got some live stuff and some uh, cover songs, but uh, really, really good artist. Check out Anne Brun. I hope I'm not ruining your name. Um, another artist that I think I may have talked about once before on this channel that is from Sweden. The town I'm not even going to try to pronounce because I would know I would ruin it. Um, and I'm a big fan of this artist. This is Jose Gonzalez. And while he sounds very Latin, um, it is not Latin music whatsoever. Um, he is from Sweden and he sings um, indie folk pop kind of stuff. Father John Misty, Ryan Adams style and has an amazing voice. This is his most recent album here called Vestiges and Claws. And this album deserves a lot more attention because this is one of my favorite albums of 2015. And I really would hope that this would garner some interest on the channel and get you guys interested in hearing this one. This is the uh, limited edition clear vinyl in the effort of time. You've all seen clear vinyl. I won't bother you with it. It's just clear. Um, but it does come on uh, standard black vinyl as well. I know I sent my friend James Lack a copy of this uh, because I had originally bought the black vinyl and then I found, come to find out that there was a limited edition clear vinyl. That's how much I like it. Went ahead and bought the clear one, sent the black one to him in a trade and uh, I think he even likes it pretty well so um, considering he's more of a classic rock guy for him to like anything new is saying good things because uh, it is hard sometimes to get the classic rock more, more um, contemporary artist into liking uh, with some of these, uh, especially younger people. Um, and here's an album that he came out with, I think this was his second album called Veneer. And this is, a, I believe, a repress. Um, and I think it's getting another repress. This came out in 2012. Originally very limited, hard to find. Then they did this repress. And um, I think this is a repress. I don't know. This could be the original one for all I know, really, or care. Um, when you're talking about 2012, does it really matter if it's an original or a repress? I don't think it does. Uh, but this is a lovely album. And uh, just every bit as good as Vestiges and Claws. So if it is getting repressed again like I think it is, definitely check this out. He's also in a band, and that band's name is Junip. And this was a Record Store Day release in 2012, I think. Maybe 2011, I forget. But let's see, this one isn't in a Blake sleeve, so I can show you that this is a colored vinyl record, I'm almost sure, being that it's Record Store Day. Um, let's take a look here at Junip. Yeah, this is on a blue vinyl. Uh, yeah, look, there you go. You can kind of see it. it's a marbleized blue. And this is a wonderful record. I think this is self-titled Junip. Yeah, they have one other record I didn't pull out um, just because I didn't want to, you know, drag this video on and on and on. I think they have either one or two other albums, and I hope that they're not done because Jose Gonzalez has been doing pretty well on his own. But he's also very, very good in his band, and um, I, I really fell in love with this album when it came out and was very excited to get a copy of it on Record Store Day. Um, and I think Ryan Dye, you're also a fan of both Jose Gonzalez and uh, Junip. So anyway, pretty cool guy from Sweden, and he doesn't really look Swedish. You know, the typical uh, blonde, blue eyes, kind of stereotypical Swede. Um, he looks like he probably is uh, from a Latin country, but um, he is a Scandinavian artist that I would like more people to get to know. 
Um, another artist here that we'll talk about next is probably one that falls into the more um, doesn't need a lot of nor notoriety because she's pretty well known, she's pretty well established, and that is the wonderful artist from Stockholm, Sweden, Leaky Lee. Again, I hope I'm saying that right. I've known her for a long time, and I've always referred to her as Leaky Lee. Now, someone's going to correct me and say it's probably not pronounced that way, and that's fine. Um, but this is her most recent album that came out last year called I Never Learn. And this was a bit of a departure for her because it's a very, very serious album, very mellow. Um, it's got some wonderful, heartfelt lyrics on it, though, and it's just, even though it's so serious and so dramatic, and um, it's still catchy, and the songs are powerful. Um, so I really, really like this album. This kind of came and went and didn't get much attention, and I was so hurt for her. And maybe it did well in other countries, but here in America, it's like, I don't know what the hell you people are listening to, really, because this is an album that should have done so well and should have gotten so much good press and so much attention and on best of lists and you name it, but it just kind of seemed to kind of come and go and it's like, oh, it's such a shame. It's a beautiful, beautiful album. So Leaky Lee, um, I have one other album from her. It's called uh, Youth Novels. This I bought secondhand at Waterloo here in Austin and uh, it wasn't expensive. It's only $15, so I don't think this one's rare or anything. Um, <laughs> but uh, this came out a few years before, maybe 2010. It's so small I can't read it, and I guess it really isn't that important. Uh, but this is a great album as well. This one has a little bit more of a synth drive to it, a little bit more beats and a few other things that are kind of cool. Um, it's not as dramatic, it's not as uh, uh, emotional. Um, it seems like the the new album, the newer album, is maybe a bit of a breakup album or something very, very traumatic has gone on in her life because it has got some real serious content on it. And I like that. Um, here's another artist from, let's make sure we get it right, from Sweden. A lot of these are from Sweden. I've got a couple Norways and one or two Denmarks as well. And this is brand new to me. I've only had this for about a week. And I guess they just go by their... Um, the letters in the in the name D N K L. This is their first EP called Wolf Hour. This is just black vinyl. It's got uh, six tracks, doesn't it? Yeah, so seven, eight tracks. Um, and I think the B side is really just uh, remixes. But I want to put a link to the first track on here called Wolf Hour in the in the comment section in this video because I really like it. And this is a really good listen, and I hope for good things from this artist, uh, this band from uh, Sweden. Uh, just starting out, really, really like it, and I love, I mean, it's my passion, I say that on all these artist collection videos, it's my passion to find these artists that are kind of up and coming, uh, who don't get a lot of notoriety, and I'm always looking for new music. So I'm trying to go quickly here, because I'm already at 18 minutes, and I've, only, I've still got a lot to go. Um, but. Uh, that one is good, really good, and I think that's a sign of, of good things to come. Another artist that may be a little bit more well-known and um, maybe a little bit more established, but not a lot, is Suzanne Sunfor. And I'm probably saying it wrong again. Suzanne Sunfor, this is her album called The Silicon Veil, and it is a glorious piece of work. This one is dark, mysterious. Um, this one's got a bit of a gothic feel to it. Uh, this is really, really cool. And this is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful uh, piece of vinyl. I've got to show you this one. I'm not going to show you too much in the way of um, specifics, colors, and whatnot, but I do want to show you this one because I hope the camera does it justice. It's a really, that's not. This is a beautiful orange marble vinyl. And it looks solid orange, probably because of my shirt <laughs> on, the, uh, on the camera, but it's got a lot of marbling on it, and it's just an absolute uh, fantastic record, fantastic packaging, and um, she is an artist that will blow you away. I promise you, if you like uh, dramatic, uh, more of a darker sound, um, with this lovely voice, she really does have a lovely, lovely singing voice. Um, she certainly knows how to package her work because it sounds absolutely amazing and it looks even better. This is completely embossed, super glossy, and it's just worth every penny. And even if it's a black vinyl, if it's not embossed, or a CD for that matter, definitely check out Suzanne Sunford because 
It is fantastic. I love this album. And then I've got one other from her and another one coming that isn't here yet. Uh, this one is called The Brothel. And this one is a little bit more plain. It is a gatefold, but, uh, you know, I, I just want you guys to know these people's names and check out the, the albums on YouTube or Spotify. And that is one thing I can tell you. That it, one of the main uh, selling points for me and how I find out about a lot of this stuff, because I think that's a recurring question on my channel, is how do you find out about this stuff? Uh, Spotify is a great help for me because there are specific playlists. There's a Nordic playlist that I follow. And while not all these Arctic are, well, I guess all these artists would be Nordic. I guess what is Nordic uh, also referred to Finland and uh, Iceland and some of the other small islands. Um, I don't have any specific music from their countries, but they do have all kinds of different things on this playlist. It does focus on indie rock, though. It does focus on the stuff I'm showing you because I'm not a metal fan. Uh, you know, I know a lot of metal comes out from that part of the world, too, but that is definitely not for me. Pardon me here one second. I don't want to start coughing on you. Um, uh, but uh, I, if you're interested, uh, let me know and I'll give you the link to that uh, Spotify playlist because you will also discover a lot of stuff that you like. Maybe not my cup of tea, uh, but I pick and choose the stuff from that Spotify playlist that I like and it helps me a lot to find these artists. Uh, one artist I can really get through really quickly because I could do a whole collections video on this one because they have a lot of material and they're pretty well known. I've talked about them before on this channel and I've already mentioned them here once today and that's Rice Scott. Um, please don't butcher me if I get uh, any of these pronunciations wrong. I'm doing the best I can. Um, uh, this is one of my favorite albums of theirs. I do have a complete vinyl collection of them now. This one's called Junior. This is a reissue. It is not an original, but they all, all of their albums were recently reissued, and I was so glad because they're all good, and this is a personal favorite of mine. Definitely check them out. Uh, they, as I've said, they work with Robin. And, uh, of course, they're very well known in the uh, dance scene, the club scene, remixes. They do tons and tons of different remixes for various artists and um, have made a very great name for themselves. Fortunately, I think they are done. Um, I think they made an announcement their last album is the final album. So, who knows, you know? I mean, people say that all the time and then they come back and say, well, we were just kidding. Um, moving on here, um, The Tallest Man on Earth is from Sweden and a personal favorite of mine as well. Got just a couple things that I pulled out that I can show you. This is their most recent album here, if I can read it. Uh, Dark Bird is Home. This is, this, this is mind-blowing music, really. It's so good um, that it almost defies description because it is everything music should be. Um, it's just emotional and powerful, and uh, it's so good to listen to, and it really transports you to a whole different place. The Tallest Man on Earth is absolutely amazing. They're on dead oceans here in, in America. Don't know what they are in Europe, um, but this is, that was a limited edition white vinyl, if anyone wants to know. I pulled out one other because it's a personal favorite of mine. There's no leaving now. A really, really powerful, great album again from... 2012 on Dead Oceans. This is just the black vinyl version of that. So I uh, can't say enough good things about The Tallest Man on Earth. Really, really good. Uh, we're probably already hitting 10, so I'll try to speed this up and just get through it. A lot of you probably know Little Dragon. Little Dragon is from uh, Sweden. They have a very good catalog. This is uh, their most recent album, I believe, called um, uh, Nambu. Nambu? <laughs> Nam, Nam, oh, forget it. Here, read it. <laughs> I'm, I'm just butchering some of this stuff. I mean, the Little Dragon's easy, but some of the titles are crazy. And I didn't know they were a Scandinavian, to be honest with you. Um, and I just recently reordered some of their reissues coming out, so I look forward to getting those. One album I think I may have talked about before on this channel that is um, another band from Sweden is called The Knife. Uh, Shaking the Habitual is a personal favorite album of mine. They were pretty much giving this away for like $15 for a triple album. It has a double gatefold. It's just black vinyl, but it's just I just can't believe that some of these artists can make any money doing it. But The Knife, this is so good. Um, you can put this on at any time, in any mood, and, feel, and there, find something uh, fantastic on this. They have other albums. I've got two others. I only pulled out that one because it's a personal favorite of mine. I by no means am complete. i got a long way to go, but I'm working on it, and I really like the knife, so check them out. 
Okay, in the home stretch, I'll save kind of one of my very, very favorites that is super unknown to the very last. But this one is also an up and coming new artist that only has one EP out, new album coming out, a full album in early 2016, and this is the magical Aurora. This is a 10 inch EP that was released, oh, about six months ago, and her full length album is coming soon. Oh, wow, this is so good. <laughs> really really good uh, I probably won't have time to put descriptions uh, and links to every artist on here but I love this little EP uh, there's a song on here called in boxes it's the second track on the uh, second side of the six track EP Woo, boy is that good it reminds me of um, Imogene Heap it reminds me of Bjork at times. Oh, it's just really good, and I think Aurora has a very bright future ahead of her, so definitely check that out. And then finally, I'm probably gonna butcher this guy's name, but I'm such a huge fan of his, not only the music, but the visuals and the videos and everything this guy has done so far has just been absolutely magic. And that is Asbjorn. And you're probably thinking, okay, who the hell is that? And are you saying it right? I don't know if I'm saying it right. Probably not. As you can see, it's a bit hard to read his name. Um, he is on Facebook. He has a just released uh, this album that comes in three 10 inch singles right now. He released these independently. It is being released again on a colored vinyl on a new record company. And it just got announced, I think two or three days ago. But wow, this is so good. Here is Pseudo Visions number three and the track listing on that. You can see these are relatively short, but they came in a series of three. Here is number two, Pseudo Visions number two, chapter two. And just absolutely glorious music. And finally, the first one that came out uh, here, Pseudo Visions number one. This was not his first album. Um, he did come up with this. I only have it on CD. I don't think this ever got a vinyl release. And the name of this is Sunken Ships. And I really hope I'm not terribly butchering the name, but Asbjorn is so good. And you gotta check out the videos because the videos are really, really just perfect for me. And um, I think that most anybody who likes James Blake or... Um, oh, there's so many... I, I don't like to compare because he really has his own style. Um, but he is definitely cool. Asbjorn is from, let me just look at my notes here, Denmark. He's a Danish artist and boy oh boy, I just am so grateful. This cost a fortune to get here from Denmark, these uh, three EPs. But I'm so glad and I never regretted it because it's really, really good stuff. And one of my favorite artists, so I can't wait to get it uh, on color vinyl. Even though I've got him already, who cares, I want it again. <coughs> so hopefully new music, he's just signed on a different label, and I think he's uh, bound bound to be an artist that you will definitely like. Um, if, if you like that genre, if you, if you like heavy rock and metal, don't bother. But if you like electronic, indie, pop, shoegaze, um, anything that you see on my channel that you kind of dig, you'll probably like it. I, I have a good feeling about that. So. That's it, I made it through. I don't know how many artists I talked about, probably more than 10, maybe 12 or 13, but that's fine. My voice is going, so I'm gonna cut it off here. And uh, the rain has really slowed down, so I made it all the way through. Thank you so much for tuning in. I love doing these artists you should know. I'll do another one, I try to do one every two months. This was number four. I'll be back in a couple months to do another one. I love today because it was all Scandinavian artists and something really intriguing to me and a very special part of my collection um, to have some of these up-and-coming artists that are not very well known in the U United States in my collection. I think they would also be proud to know that their music is touching other parts of the world that they probably haven't even been to in many cases. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. And I hope you have a great weekend. Happy Halloween. I'm wearing my orange. And I hope you guys have a great time. Spin some great tunes and check out these great artists. Bye for now. Do me right, do me wrong